Logic Pro X is coming to iPad. We knew this was going to happen eventually. Well, Apple just dropped this on their website this morning that they're bringing both Final Cut Pro and Logic Pro X on iPad for a subscription. Now, I'm not sure how I feel about that because I already own Logic Pro on my Mac and I would love to access it on the iPad as well. But $4.99 a month or $49 for the whole year is not too much to ask for. So again, it's going to give you a lot of the features that you would need to create music on the go on your iPad, given that you own the iPads, that it tells you that you would need to run the program. So it talks about Ultimate Music Studio at your fingertips and it shows you a bunch of tracks. And then you have Chromoverb, Alchemy, Channel EQ Compressor, and you know, you seems like you can use your touch to access everything talks about making beats playing recording everything on an ipad i love the portability let's say you're on a flight you're watching a movie you don't want to watch it anymore make some music just close it and then you open up Logic pro and boom you can make your music you can create and produce in any genre crazy again available on 523 you can access everything with touch uh now it shows headphones here but i'm not sure what the latency here is going to be I wonder if there's a cable connected on the other side. It's it's conveniently located right here, so I'm not sure if there's actually a cable connected. Usually with Bluetooth audio, there is delay. So again, that's one thing to keep in mind, but seems like you can access it with your pencil. You have all the features available on the phone as well, it seems like. And um, navigation, you have the plug-in tiles that have a really nice GUI. You have the drum sequencer right here. You have endless sound inspiration, which is great. All the samples that you would need. You can, you can have all the sounds in one place. You can predictive filtering system. So it looks like there's some kind of an AI going on on the back end, which is always good with everything that's go on, going on on the AI front. Again, sound library and play on the power of and play on with the pro plugins. So it seems like every company is going to make plugins specifically for the iPad now. And this is great for folks that use this live as well, because then they're going to be able to just uh, use their vocal chain live with Logic Pro on an iPad. I mean, that is unparalleled portability that, that you can ask for. Looks like touch. You have pretty much every single instance of instrument that you would use on your computer available on the iPad, all the plugins that you would need. This is gonna be great for folks like me who just wanna go out, make some music, bring it back in the studio. And with the built-in microphone, you can go out and sample things outside, bring it into Alchemy, bring it into Drum Designer, have some unique samples that don't sound like anything that everyone else downloads from Splice, because everything else sounds the same. This is gonna be insane. You have the drum sequencer right here, and again, you have the beat maker, quick sampler, step sequencer, drum machine designer, and then you can also mix with touch here. Obviously, it's going to be compatible with the keyboard as well as the Apple Pencil. I can't imagine it won't be. I am very, very excited for this, and, and I can't wait to get my hands on it on the 23rd. They are giving a one-month free trial, so I'll be trying that out as well. This is beyond exciting. You have the track stacks as well. This is insane that you can do all of this on your iPad. And it seems like you can get third party plugins to work on an iPad as well. So you have the crystalline reverb right here. You have fat filter stuff here. Uh, insane, insane. And it looks like it's compatible with a bunch of third party hardwares. So you really don't need much more than an iPad to make professional music now you the the time of mac are gone now for at least a hobby musician or somebody who's starting out and and must dabble into this this is insane so let me know what you guys think about this are you going to go out and get this or are you going to go and give it a try i definitely don't mind paying 50 bucks even if i make a beat when i'm on a train or if i'm flying that is worth it for me if i'm paying five bucks a month or literally 50 bucks a year Keep making some dope music. Stay tuned on the channel for my review of Logic Pro on iPad. Until then, keep making some dope music. I'll see you at the next one.